This video is intended to be an introduction to the multi-line feature new in Jabber 12. So first, what do I mean by Jabber multi-line? Well, up through Jabber 11, uh, only one directory number could be associated with a CSF device in Call Manager. Starting with Jabber 12, you can have up to eight directory numbers associated with a CSF device. And um, those lines are color coded. In addition to being able to place and receive calls on any of those lines, uh, the lines themselves are color coded so that when you look in things like your history or if there's an inbound call, and we'll see this, I'll be demoing this, um, you can see which line we're talking about um, that's involved in this call because again, color coded, which is awesome. To uh, support Jabber Multiline requires Call Manager 1151 SU3 or later. Now, if you look at the release notes for Jabber 12, it says that it's supported on Call Manager 1052 or later, but the uh, it, that's just for Jabber 12 itself. The multi-line feature specifically requires 1151SU3 or later. And for 1151SU3, there's also a COP file in addition to the basic install, a COP file that you have to install. The, the, um, the name of it is up here that's available for download from Cisco's website. Interestingly enough, 1151SU4 uh, does not require the COP file. Um, it natively supports Jabber Multiline. And then the first version of 12 that came out for Cisco didn't. You had to put the COP file in again. It's just bizarre. The, the bottom line with that is look at the release notes for your version of Call Manager to see if it supports Jabber Multiline natively. And if not, install the COP file. And you know, if you don't want to go as far as reading the release notes, just try firing up a CSF device and see if um, it, it allows you, you know, one um, line or eight lines. As far as mobile remote access is concerned, uh, Jabberline multi-line is supported. Um, you do have to have the underlying MRA uh, Expressway pair at uh, version 8.10.1. Um, and I've been looking at the Jabber 12.5, um, which is still in beta as of the recording of this video. Um, and some of the newest features are going to require um, 8.12, which actually isn't out yet either, along with Jabber 12.5 uh, not being out. So um, for some of the features, uh, you, you need newer versions not for, to be supported through MRA. You need ver newer versions not just of Call Manager, but also the MRA servers themselves. All right, let's go take a look at Jabber in action. So here we are on a remote desktop and here is my Jabber 12 client. And here is where I can see the multi-line feature of Jabber in action. Uh, this particular CSF device has four directory numbers associated with it and I can see them here. Um, and they are note color coded, which I think is pretty awesome. In addition to the outbound call, I can select any of these lines and place an outbound call. Um, on an inbound basis, it'll tell me which line is being wrong as well. So for instance, if I press uh, for security here, I see the call coming in and notice it says it's line four and shows me who it's from. So I can see exactly who was uh, calling and which line was being called and I can just pick it up. I don't have to select it up here, I just have to answer the call and that was sufficient. In addition, um, let's take a look at the call history. I'm um, in the call history. This is also color coded. Notice that each of the lines, in addition to having a number, has a color associated with it. And one of the cool things in the new feature is that I can say, well, gee, only show me the uh, call history for line one or only show me the call history for line four. And it will do that, which I think is pretty awesome. It, it, it helps to, you know, sort of, especially if you get a lot of calls. Now, as far as voicemail is concerned, um, with the Jabber Multiline, at least with this version, this is 12.5, it's actually beta at the moment, um, but it is 12.5, not just 12.0. The voicemails that we see here are only for the primary line. The other lines don't get um, uh, you know, notifications that there's voicemails in here. And I'm hoping that that's on Cisco's roadmap. Um, I've seen qu uh, queries about that, but I haven't seen Cisco respond about making that possible for later. A couple of other things um, that are possible with Jabber 12, just since I'm thinking about it. Um, I have set up this particular user with a single number reach uh, profile. And down here, I can um, turn single number reach on and off right in the Jabber client, which is pretty awesome. Uh, 
Um, and I can also, if I need to, for some reason, need to turn off the phone itself, I can just disable the phone. I still get chat, I still get presence information, but the phone itself won't work if I need my phone to be quiet. And then I can just turn that back on, and it turns on. And also, um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to switch to another desktop, and I'm going to show you Jabber 12 um, via MRA. So this particular user here, Jeff Amazon, is connected to the um, call manager via an expressway pair. And a couple of things I want to note about that. Um, I still get uh, my multi-line uh, feature, and I can place calls on any of these lines, right? I can use that line, and I can call uh, Rachel here, for instance. And it's showing the, the caller ID um, the, the number I dialed. That's the, the line I just selected. Now, the thing is that the other direction doesn't count. Now, notice I've got widget sales here at 2009. Um, I can even select that number, and if I use this line and I place a call to that number, the noise you're hearing is actually it ringing on this other PC that I have. It did not ring on the MRA line. It did not ring on the MRA line. It only rang on the line on the uh, Jabber Multiline client that was directly connected to Call Manager. That again um, is a, one of the roadmap um, uh, pieces that, that Cisco has for future revs of this. But so the bottom line is if you're connected with Jabber Multiline on an MRA basis, you can place outbound calls from any of your lines, but inbound calls only will come to the primary line, at least as of right now. Uh, voicemail, though, everything else still works just like normal, which is, is pretty cool. So that is Jabber Multiline in a nutshell. Um, please come back for more videos about Jabber and other exciting um, collaboration stuff. See you next time.